Hey everybody, so today we're going to be making some spicy thick cut pork chops on the kettle grill. Start off, we've got two inch and a half thick cut pork chops. I'm going to rub them down. A little bit of that W sauce, fire shire. Put a little dose on there, each one. Going to get rubbed down on both sides. Good and incorporated. We got these nice and rubbed down with that W sauce. I'm going to hit it with some of this hot Memphis original seasoning. Good dose on all sides and even on the edges. Y'all been asking for some more kettle grill, just regular charcoal grill recipes, and I'm happy to deliver. While this season is sweating in, we'll fire up the charcoal chimney and get the old kettle grill fired up. We'll let those coals get good and hot. So we got our kettle grill fired up. We've got heat on one side. We're gonna throw a pecan chunk on there. We're gonna put these on the cold side, so it's not gonna quite be a reverse sear, but it's gonna be close. We'll take our Thermo Pro temp spike. We'll probe one of our chops so we can see how they're cooking the whole cook. We'll get these out to the grill. We'll drop our pecan chunk down in there. Get ready to get our chops on. As you see, we've got a hot side and a cold side. We've got our chops on the cold side. We'll let them touch a little bit of that pecan smoke. We'll monitor our internal temperature. So our chops are probing about 135 internal. We'll bring them over here to the hot side and sear them off to finish them off. Okay, we finished them off to 155 internal, which is my liking. They're going to go up to about 160 in the rest. It's still a bit juicy, completely done. Let's go in and rest them with a little compound butter. We got our compound butter on here. Let that melt down, let these chops rest for about 10 minutes or so. Be ready to try. They got that good pecan smoke smell going. They're going to be absolutely killer. Had these chops resting. We're ready to cut them up. Go down this bone right here. Get ready to cut into it. So as you see, there's plenty of juice coming out of these old chops. Perfectly done. They're tender. They're moist. Cook them how you like them. This is how I like them. Got a beautiful cross section. Got that melted down butter. All we got left. Let's go in for that bite. Mm. And that's where it's at. 